Hello folks and thank you for joining me. Uh, my standard greeting. Um, whoops, wrong window. Here we got some stuff for you today. I wanted to, I'll leave all the links in the box of course. And um, sitting here watching the weather channel and the, the aerial views of this tornado in Fairdale. And uh, I watched it yesterday live as it was happening on the storm chasers. Uh, we're chasing it. And uh, that was one heck of an impressive uh, windstorm. And uh, so, but I ran across this last night. I checked this website every now and then and uh, see what they have in the newest offerings and I ran across this and I wanted to share it with you this is uh, this particular one was Alabama Federal Bureau of Investigation uh, it's called a quick reference guide it's the sovereign citizen quick reference guide for courts and uh, read a little bit of it here is from the FBI mobile division and the actual document would look like this it's for uh, that they pass out to law enforcement and um, we'll read it off of here sovereign citizen activity typically involves criminal behavior they say that criminal behavior that is generally nonviolent but has led to threats and plots against court officials by more extremist adherents. Below are some indicators that you have encountered an SC during your normal duties and be a signal and may be a signal. You know, what I gotta correct their damn grammar as I read. Anyway, and, and be a signal that the additional precautions against fraudulent filings and personal harm be used. Initial indicators of SC notice filings noticed by filings presentation to the courts of vol voluminous voluminous motions that contain what some hell of language they use references to UCC codes references to probate type language including estates trust wills and beneficiaries reference case law that is outdated they say is outdated and irrelevant or taken out of context okay for one thing case law is never outdated okay that's why it's case law that's why they make it into case law so it can be used the laws are never there are laws on the books uh that have been there for ages and they are actually still effective clear back from the cow the so-called cowboy days <coughs> uh, quote unquote but anyway um so it goes on to talk about the uh different behaviors that uh, SC which is short for sovereign citizen which is a oxymoron in itself a misnomer uh, sovereign people do not claim to be citizens in any way shape or form there's no such thing as a sovereign citizen because if you're sovereign that means you're not a citizen if you're a citizen then you're a subject of the state or in this case the corporation in the case of our reality not that the states are corporations themselves however the government is a corporation the united states of america is a corporation is incorporated and uh, its rules and uh color of law are nothing more than administrative actions in real common law legality now so back to this um, you can see how they use the language to misinform their own agents and law enforcement officers of the true facts of the law and uh, the language they use here to make uh, they use a whole lot of uh, invalid or illegitimate or these words to make any of the actions that sovereign sovereigns may take that they call sovereign citizens may take 
uh, because basically they're denying throughout the whole thing everything that the uh, sovereign may try to do, uh, such as request courts to sign documents and will respond to complicated and rambling inquiries, what they say complicated and rambling inquiries, usually with a statement to the effect of failure to reply indicates acceptance of all motions and dismissal of all charges. When making a court appearance, may not want to pass into the well of the court, claim that the court does not have jurisdiction over them, request, see, claim that the court does not have jurisdiction, not state that the court has jurisdiction, claim, that, see, that way they make it sound like their claim is illegitimate, to read statements and attempt to justify their sovereignty, ask the judge, court officials, attorneys, and witness for identification, verification of their authority, will commonly ask for oath of office or delegation of authority. Of authority, and uh, people that do that are, are they ask for the oath of office to see if the person took the oath of office to uphold the Constitution. Um, present papers to the or present papers to the courts, but not want the court to retain them. I don't know where that comes from. You know, they throw in some stuff here. Me, if the judge calls for a recess, try to figure out what the sovereign quote-unquote citizen is talking about the defendant may claim that the judge has abandoned the court and claim authority to dismiss the case uh, following trial court officials may receive threatening communication fraudulent liens and claims may be filed against the judge witnesses jury or other officials and their families so this is basically what this piece of paper is telling the people uh, telling the peeps in law enforcement and it goes on you can actually go down to the bottom of this page and you have related material from the archive and here we'll take a quick look at this DHS and I would just right click and open these and the thing is you can go once you right click the uh, images or the download button you can actually open it up in the PDF form or whatever and down here in the corner you can save it you can manipulate it a little bit too but you can save it or print it uh, all of these documents. Right here we have the DHS, Department of Homeland Security Intelligence Assessment. Sovereign citizen extremist ideology driving violence, they say. And uh, again, you can get on the image here, you can right click and you can open up the full um, PDF document right over here. Uh, Homeland Security, it's, this, it's more of a brochure that has many pages. Uh, read it for yourself. It includes little maps here. Uh, and what have you, just to give you an idea. This, this assessment is based on an INA review of 24 law enforcement investigations into acts and threats of sovereign citizens and extremists. SCE, in other words, violence, since 2010, detailing locations, targets of violence, and their statements about the violence when available. It is intended to inform law enforcement at the federal, state, and local levels about the nature and circumstances of the SCE violence to help off and help to our violence to help officers prepare for, anticipate, and ultimately avoid violent incidents. Most sovereign citizens are nonviolent, and this assessment applies only to those that use violence to advance their goals. This assessment stems from law enforcement feedback on a 2013 analysis of the geographic distribution of SCE violence. Um, limited reporting suggests sovereign citizen extremist violence most common in southern and western United States. <clears throat> and this is dated February 27th of 2014 on that. Uh, for this review, IAA counted only violence perpetrated by identified SCEs or uh, SCEs, yeah, I'm sorry, for ideological reasons or uh, ideological reasons and that involved shootings, assaults, plots to commit violence, incredible violent threats against law enforcement, government personnel, and public officials. All incidents were reviewed by... So you can read that on your own when you come there. So be a sad one and download it. Like I said, save all this to your uh, archives, your hard drive. Um, the next one on the list down uh, was this one. It was just a federal... You know, some of these are directed to certain states. Like I think that one was Alabama. This is General Federal Bureau of Investigation. Sovereign citizen extremists targeting law enforcement creates potential for violent traffic stops. Now, 
Well, I didn't even get into this. You can tell from the, the title of the last two documents uh, how they're directed to basically put law enforcement on edge and to be automatically in a defensive uh, position or state of mind when dealing with somebody who claims to be a sovereign. And they automatically clue them in, and I don't, I don't know any sovereigns, never known a sovereign, uh, or anyone who claimed to be a sovereign that was violent. Uh, so people who are sovereign, they know the law, they have no need for violence. Um, in fact, there's it's just the opposite. Uh, when you're sovereign, uh, yeah, I mean, not only do you have no need for violence, you have a need to show that you're not violent uh, in demonstration to the steps you take to claim your sovereignty. And that's part of the process of the law of, 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 of common law. Uh, the government here in these documents, as you read them, you'll see how they depict sovereigns as violent, uh, aggressive, and instigators. And uh, when in most cases the sovereigns are trying to defend their own rights and not infringe on another's rights, whereas uh, the denial of the government and the violence that they use to enforce their color of law upon the people, uh, they are the ones who actually always end up turning to violence as they put their hands on you to cuff you up or throw you in a cage or nowadays they just shoot your ass. <laughs> but uh, so I want, you can go through this one too. So I'm sorry, you know, he, um, it goes on t warning that here's an example. Some sovereigns, this one paragraph out of the mix here, some sovereign citizen extremist groups aspire to implement ranger programs and other plans to respond to perceived law enforcement abuses. Given limited assets, the FBI assesses with high confidence complete implementation is unlikely. But the nature of these plans and beliefs that sovereign citizen extremists are legitimate law enforcement officers suggest that even small or poor poorly funded versions of these plans have potential for violence. And when when they're talking about like this too, that, that would be the militia, uh, the one it, it, as well, that would also include militia people um, who try to set up their own uh, enforcement of law situation. And citizens have the right to enforce the law too, don't let them fool you. Uh, they can fool their own with this programming and stuff, but uh, you know, there's everybody's heard of a citizen's arrest, um, and we won't get into that here. I don't have enough time for that on this. I just wanted to share these and the links. I think everybody should go here, and when you go to, like I said, go to this first one, go down here, go to each. I've downloaded each and every one of these. Uh, notices to law enforcement uh, onto my computer and archive. So with that, I thank you for joining me and I hope you get some use out of this and share this, bring it up with your local law enforcement, maybe your, uh, your uh, uh, city council meetings, those of you that go to city council meetings and stuff, and uh, you can bring this up and uh, get a discussion going about uh, the misconceptions that are included in here that are basically uh, programming law enforcement to be on the defensive against citizens and look at citizens and view citizens as uh, some type of enemy or perpetrator. God bless.